This robot, with cameras and radio frequency sensors mounted on it, moves through the vineyard. It's on an experimental mission to spray chemicals on vines that need treatment. The prototype, named Idabot, was developed by an engineering team at Northwest Nazarene University in Nampa, Idaho. He can program into the Idabot trees number one and trees number five need chemicals. Each tree would have a radio frequency identification tag on it and um, the Idabot would use the signal from the tag to determine which tree it's next to. And when it's next to tree five, it'll spray chemicals on tree number five. When it's on tree number one, it'll spray the chemicals there. Josh Griffin, one of the project leaders, says the autonomous robot can be integrated with other technology, like monitoring drones. It carries a multi-spectral camera that captures images of vines or fruit trees for processing in the computer program. In this case, the lighter the red, the more chemical treatment the trees need. Griffin points out the robot would help farmers save money on labor and create a much smaller chemical footprint than indiscriminate spraying. It automatically, without human intervention, applies the chemicals, uh, and then it does so at very low pressure, so it does so very precisely. The chemicals go where we want them to go, not overspray uh, to other areas. The team, comprised of students and professors, is also developing a fruit counting application that can be integrated into the IDABOT. It's a vision system to accurately estimate fruit crop yield. We will be using four camera, color, near-infrared, and stereo camera that will take images from each tree as IDABOT moves along the orchard, and then we will use those images and create a computer program to estimate the number of fruits on each tree. Farmers like Michael Williamson, who owns an orchard in Caldwell, Idaho, is looking forward to trying it out. I am very excited about this experiment and this machine that can count our fruit. We can get a better price from our customers if we pre-order or pre-sell our fruit months in advance. Sometimes it can be better than 20 percent, and that is the important part about the fruit counting. Griffin estimates a no-frills IDABOT that primarily uses radio frequency identification technology would be relatively low cost. We do anticipate that it will be uh, fairly affordable, you know, kind of on the order of maybe buying a pickup truck or something like that. The researchers expect the money farmers save using the multipurpose robot will eventually benefit consumers with lower fruit prices. For producer June So, Faith Lapidus, VOA News, Nampa, Idaho.